Hello, I am Matt Sheehan and I am running for Norfolk County Commissioner. I am a graduate of Norfolk County Agricultural High School and a member of the Board of Trustees at Norfolk Aggie. I have a degree in aviation science from Bridgewater State University and am a pilot for American Airlines. I volunteer at the Above the Clouds Flying Charity where we take children facing adversity for plane rides at Norwood Airport. I have two brothers. One is a lieutenant in Dedham Fire Department. The other has served our country in the United States Army. My mother is a nurse and our family comes from a long line of first responders, veterans, and many more union careers. Norfolk County has a veterans program that consists of rides to VA facilities and meals for veterans during the holiday season. Working with the 28 veteran agents, I will create an initiative where we do wellness checks a few times a year on our veterans. Veterans need to know that we care about them before, during, and after their time of service. The Registry of Deeds processes $82 million a year in real estate transactions. The registrar has requested that we have an on-site IT director. The commission has voted two to one to relocate the position. The registrar made a strong case and I would flip this vote in favor of installing an on-site IT director. Real estate is at a premium and so is cyber security. We deserve to have our personal information protected. The commissioners are insistent on constructing a solar project on the grounds of Norfolk Aggie. The town of Walpole has rightfully denied the commissioners building permits because of zoning laws and massive public outcry. As a result, the commissioners are now suing Walpole and its residents to force the project through. Meanwhile, the commissioners continue to ignore requests from the Walpole Select Board for a public question and answer session with their residents. The commissioners do not own this land. It belongs to you, the taxpayer. As a trustee of Norfolk County Agricultural High School, I fully support phases one and two of the solar project. This uses roofs, parking lots, and existing infrastructure for solar energy. However, phase three will destroy 20 acres of beautiful irreplaceable farmland on North Street in Walpole. Commissioner Stady and I voted no on this project. The other board members, including Peter Collins, voted yes, completely ignoring feedback from the public hearing. Phase four, if Commissioner Collins has his way, will destroy eight acres of healthy forests and fields located on the main campus, uproot various species of wildlife that live there, eliminate public walking trails, and end the student-run haunted hayride as we know it. In addition, the commissioners are only charging $31,000 a year for the land lease. That's far less than the $40,000 the students make running the hayride. You can reference any public hearing on YouTube. I formally asked for an accounting of how much taxpayer money has been spent on lawsuits and initially I was sent redacted records. Between the IT director at the registry and the solar project, the county has spent $300,000 on issues that can be solved using common sense. It appears the only people benefiting from the current county government are the county's lawyers. For decades, the same people have been involved in county government. It's common to see spouses, relatives, and long-term friends sit on multiple boards, performing multiple duties, doing what's best for the group and not necessarily what's best for our constituents. The former business manager at the Aggie lived on campus for free for seven years in a farmhouse that is supposed to be for someone who possesses agricultural skills. I voted no and my opponent Peter Collins voted yes. This is just the tip of the iceberg, but I only have five minutes. Commissioner Stady is new, and I commend him on his efforts to listen to constituents and vote independently. In Massachusetts, 7,000 acres of forests and fields have been destroyed for ground-mounted solar projects. We are setting a dangerous precedent. In the Boston Globe magazine article, Save the Pine Barrens, Meg Sheehan stressed, we should promote green energy where it fits, but not at all costs. We should not be destroying the planet to save it. As your next Norfolk County Commissioner, I will end these taxpayer-funded taxpayer -funded lawsuits. I will vote for the IT Director at the Registry of Deeds. I will expand our Veteran Services Program. I will end the ground-mounted portion of the solar project in Walpole. I will find new, more favorable locations for solar and make sound decisions for the future of Norfolk County. I was eight years old when Peter Collins took office 28 years ago. I humbly ask for your vote in November. It's time for a new generation of leadership.